Hey everyone, so this is my first official Lego City update and although it's not, um, there's not a ton to see, if you're just starting out with a Lego City, this is a great place to start and it's really, really easy to start um, comparing yourself to amazing Lego Cities like Jane Bricks or Brixie and think, oh gosh, you know, I need to, I need to be like that right out of the starting gate and the truth is, you don't, and I want to show you um, what it takes to build a small Lego city so that you two can build one along with me if you like, or um, just watch our progress. Eventually, this Lego city will grow, and I'm sure um, many people start with a small table and then all of a sudden, you know, over time, it just starts expanding. And I already know that our city is going to grow because we are actually converting our garage into a, a Lego studio of sorts. Um, great lighting, lots of shelving, a big place for tables. So I know this will grow, but um, I wanted to get started because I know the garage is about three months out from probably being done. And I was, uh, you know, I just wanted to get a, a table going. And if you take the Lego studio tour that is also um, on this channel, you'll see the temporary space that I'm in right now, which is our dining room. And we've moved our dining room table out into an awkward position in the living room. And that's also covered in Lego, but I wanted to show you that it's okay just to get started without things being perfect. In fact, one of the models that I've adopted in my business is that you do not let perfection get in the way of progress. And you know, that is so true because we start thinking about all the things we don't have for the city. You know, all the, the buildings we don't have, all the tiles we don't have, all the accessories we don't have. And that pushes us further from just getting it started because you have to get something started in order to perfect it later on. And, and even then things are never perfect. But if you're constantly comparing your city to where someone else's city is, three years, five years, 10 years from now, you're never going to be happy. So what I wanted to do was pull out a table and we headed to Ikea and we grabbed the table and there's another video on that where I just kind of show you um, the table, what I collected and so forth. So you can check that out too. But I just uh, wanted to get the base plates on it. Now, if you can't afford to cover everything in base plates, that's not a requirement. Essentially, your buildings, your modulars are going to take the space up, but I just thought it'd be fun to sort of Legoize the table. And I added in the road plates, and these are the road plates that are retiring. So I did get a stock on those, and you can get them on Amazon pretty easily right now. Our Lego store uh, finally sold out of them, and they won't be getting them back. And I'm not 100% sure if I want to use the new road plates or not. There's some great videos out there on how to do it and how to add to your city and make it look correct with the modules. But again, I'm not going to let perfection get in the way of progress. I'm just going to put out what I have and go from there. And then, you know, this could revamp itself completely when we move it downstairs. Three years from now, two years from now, one year from now, uh, it could be changed five, 10 times, because that is the beauty of a Lego city. And even if you watch the YouTubers with gigantic cities, they're constantly changing. They're running out of room. They're adding more tables. They're shifting roads. Uh, a new building comes in like the, the police module and everyone with a giant Lego city has to go, okay, where are we going to put this? And then buildings come out, buildings move around. And that is to me, the number one beauty of building a Lego city because it is never ending. So today I'm going to just show you the very beginnings of my um, progress before perfection. So I have 12 green base, well, no, 11 green base plates because my first module here, my module is sitting in the space where one is. So I removed one and put uh, this in. And you might not officially recognize this module because it's actually an alternate build for the uh, London Tower Bridge set. And if you go onto um, a website called rebrickable.com, you can actually find um, designers who turn, not like, not official Lego designers, but um, Lego people who love building with Lego and have great technique use. And they will take a set and only using the pieces from that set, turn it in to something else. 
And so this was the London Tower Bridge turned into a science museum. And the reason why I have this one in particular is because I run a website called Little Bins for Little Hands, and it is a science STEM, STEAM art website for kids, um, generally grades kindergarten through, through as maybe as high as fourth or fifth grade and even may into preschool a little bit. But it's for teachers and parents to go on, find very doable, affordable, um, a, you know, accessible activities to share science and STEM with kids because that is super important too. And I even have Lego projects like Lego volcanoes and Lego zip lines and Lego self portraits. So we have always been doing quite a bit with Lego um, as in taking the bricks that you have and turning them into something else, you know, without having to have every specific piece. And that is the motto sort of I'm putting out into the city. I have it started. It's not perfect. I'm using what I have available and eventually it will become exactly what I want it to be. Will it become Jane City? No. Will it become Brixie City? No. Will it become my city? Yes. And your city doesn't need to be my city. It doesn't need to be their city. It needs to be your city. So um, as you can see, I've got all my base plates down. I have secured them with uh, two by two tiles. And if you'll notice right away, they are not all the same color. I've got bluish gray, dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, um, an intermediate brown, a, a green. Some are jumpers, some are not. So it's what I had and I needed to get this secured because luckily I did when my King Kong cat leapt up and planted herself on a road plate, sitting on a car, tail over these minifigures. And I'm thinking to myself, oh boy, exactly the reason why we are going to be taking our Lego city into the garage, because I'm still a little concerned. There seems to be a decent amount of friction between the plates and the table, but I don't, I, I'm a little concerned of this one going right off the edge. And this took me a long time to build the science museum, which I will show you in another video because the details on the interior are pretty fun too. Not quite as detailed as say, um, a newer module, a uh, module, modular, but um, the designer did a great job just not making it a, a shell of a building. So that was one of the reasons why I definitely wanted to, to give it a try was for what was inside, even though um, in a city you don't necessarily see what's inside. I still think it's um, super cute for me to know it's there. Uh, so yeah, this is it. I have a construction site. I think a city always looks really cute with a construction site. and. I grabbed one of these um, 2021 $9.99 uh, construction vehicles and it came with a wheelbarrow and a guy and a shovel and some cones and a sign. And then I added in some extra bricks to just, you know, look like something's happening. Cause I think what we might do is build assembly square next. And it is a base plate and a half. And I actually might move this one down to here so that the assembly square can go up against the outer wall of the science museum so that these can remain open since this is a quarter building. So that that's kind of my plan. So I guess maybe I'll shift everything down and put the construction down here as well. I did have this older set. It is from the mining. It was a large mining set. I think when my son was five ish five years old, um, so that would be six years ago. So I grabbed that, um, we have a, some big buckets of very broken up Lego sets that hopefully one day we can restore. Um, and then I grabbed our vintage car from January's promotion with the police station and $85 purchase. You got this awesome little vintage car and it sold out super fast. Um, but I did manage to get six of them in between all the different things that I picked up in January. And again, that same rebrickable website had other builds for, um, for the vintage car. They actually, there was a person did 12 different models. So I purchased those PDF files and I have three more cars waiting that can also become different cars. So the Lego city will, uh, will be filled with teal cars, but at least they won't be teal cars that are all the same. <laughs> So that's about it. The next, I do have um, a bunch of modulars waiting in my collection. I have the police station, of course, and I have the bookshop. 
And I have my favorite, I'm really looking forward to, is the Parisian restaurant. This is my first um, older retired one that I needed to purchase off of eBay or Bricklink um, in order to acquire. And the prices are steadily going up on the retired ones. Here's the garage. And I do have assembly square, but I'm not going to pick it up because I can't grab it. I can't one hand it. So, and then the last one I have is the diner, which is uh, the one that is currently retiring. So if you can find this in your store, this is surely a good one to pick up right away if you can. And if not, um, uh, any of the modules that you see out on the shelves are a super good buy in terms of city use, investment. Um, these only go up in value from all the research I've done to try and acquire all the other modules that I'm missing. I would love to add the Town Hall, the Fire Brigade, um, the Palace Cinema, the Detective's Office, the Pet Shop, the... Um, Emporium Cafe, the Green Grocer, the Bank. There are they're just they're beautiful, and but they have gone up. If you're talking about buying um, in the store, you know, like the, the police station or in the others at, at 199, you're now looking at some of them, like the Town Hall, which is an impressively big set. It was a little more expensive at the time, but now you're lucky to buy it for 750 dollars new in box plus shipping. So. If you're hesitant to buy a modular, but you can swing it, you really might want to consider it. So I've made sure now that we're back into building a Lego city and um, that I've purchased, my main purchases this past year have been uh, the assembly square, the garage, the diner, and the bookshop, because you may still be able to find all of those in your local stores and online. A lot easier than say the Parisian restaurant, which I ended up paying $2.45 for as a special eBay seller offer, which was fantastic. So I, I definitely hopped on that. And you know, the police station I was there day one for. And the way Lego's going, things are selling out so fast that I wanted to make sure at least I had the modules that are still currently available and at MSRP instead of knowing that I'm going to be paying anywhere from $50 to $500 more if I want to have it in my city. And my goal with my city is to have all the modulars someday. Now, is that a goal for you? Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, it is definitely pricier and it depends on what other Lego that you like to buy to build. I don't have a lot of other themes that I'm truly interested in or feel the need to go out and buy because what I love about a Lego city is that it's, um, it's always growing. It's not a set that you build and you put it on the shelf and then you buy another set and you put it on the shelf. This is something that will always be changing. You can always add details. You can create stories. The minifigures tell stories. It's, I think it's really fascinating when you look at all the possibilities that a Lego city can bring to your life and just the amount of, um, happiness and joy the colors and the styles are you know can bring to your everyday life especially if it's you know you have a stressful job or you have a lot going on and you just need to sit and tinker with a little construction site for a little while I mean that's that's really wonderful and it's not about pulling out a, a instruction book and a box and bags it's just sitting and making a cute little construction site with extra bricks and a few construction guys and that to me is the beauty of the city and it doesn't need to look perfect it does especially right out of the starting gate I, I need to just get it going in order for it to look perfect if you have nothing on the table it can never look perfect so um, that's exactly what I did with my business if I never put out those first articles on my website with the very horrible photos um, I wouldn't be where I am now where I'm able to monetize it and it's become my full-time career and it allows my family to do lots of fun things. And it actually allows me to have hire people from around the world who help me do these things. So, you know, if I never started and I never just had fun doing it um, without the worry of, oh, does it look like that person? Or does it look like that person? Um, it wouldn't be where it is today. And I wouldn't have people asking me um, how to do things and how to get started. So that's pretty cool. So. 
I'm trying to bring that philosophy to my Lego city. It doesn't need to look like his city or her city. It needs to just look like mine and it needs to be fun for me because when something is fun for you, your passion will show and that's exactly what it is. So I'm excited to build another modular. I'm excited for our garage where we can maybe expand this a little bit and, and not have to worry about the cat um, wreaking havoc because I can just see like, trees getting knocked over i'll come down one morning and it'll be like a um a tornado tornado has gone through because she's jumped up and she's knocked down all the street lights and the trees and i feel like i would be very frustrated with that <laughs> and unfortunately the way our house is shaped there's no other place or room that we could set up a table in so uh yeah so if you have any thoughts about a lego city if you're starting a lego city if you want to chat about a lego city if you want to talk about what to put in a Lego city, or if you have questions about a Lego city, not that I've been doing it very long to have a ton of answers, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, I will be sharing regular updates as we do something new and fun to the city. I'd love to do some live streams where we build together. And I'm really interested in also taking some of the three-in-one smaller modules, like the uh, Toy Store townhouse, and there's there's a couple others that it's escaping me, but they are, they're definitely cute, very cute, sweet modulars. Um, but when you put them next to um, a, a full size modular, you can tell the scale is definitely off. So I'm hoping to learn a little bit more about knocking those into getting a couple sets and maybe smushing them together and turning them into a modular because I think some of the themes and colors are really cute on those. and. I definitely have more plans for Rebrickable.com because I know that the Sesame Street set turns into a modular. I know that the Central Perk turns into a modular and I've seen, you can actually even, if you're up for buying an additional bookshop or an additional garage or additional assembly square, those all turn in, they all have alternative modular builds. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited to see where the city goes. and. I really hope you follow along. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and join me for updates. And yeah, so bye for now. Um, we will see you in the next video. Bye.